Hi, I'm thanks for listening to this uh, tutorial video on the analysis of the multicollinearity in uh, EDUs. Analysis of multicollinearity will be using uh, the variance inflation factor method in order to show you how to analyze uh, multicollinearity in uh, Linear relation, you know, uh, multicollinearity can be a source of uh, many variation in coefficient of uh, least power estimation. So uh, we use uh, variance inflation factor in order to uh, search for which of our uh, variable are a source of, uh, of multicollinearity. And in each call, we will show you uh, a, a, a term criterion which is used in order to, uh, to choose uh, which variable to uh, include in the linear regression. So, uh, first of all, we need to know that in statistics, uh, the variance mutation factor is a question of the variance in the model with uh, multiple terms. By the variance of the model with uh, one term alone. So it uh, quantifies uh, the severity of the multicollinearity in an ordinary least square regression analysis, as I told you earlier. So uh, it provides an index that measures how much the variance uh, of the estimated regression coefficient is increased because of the model of the collinearity. So, uh, Cuthbert uh, Daniel claimed to have invented the concept behind the variance inflation factor, but did not come up with, uh, with the name variance inflation factor. So, uh, variance inflation uh, factor as we define it, uh, you can be calculated uh, when we have uh, k different uh, factor in three main steps. So um, the first step in the uh, calculation in the determination of the multicollinearity using variance inflation factor is uh, to run an ordinary least square regression that has xi as a function of all the other explanatory variables in the first equation. So if x equal 1, uh, so i, if uh, i equal 1, our variable, for example, the equation will express the first variable in function in linear combination of the other, uh, of the other variables. So, uh, in step two of the variance inflation factor computing, uh, we then calculate the variance inflation factor of uh, a given coefficient, which is uh, given by the uh, one divided by one minus r square of uh, the concern, the concern, the, the coefficient of the, the, the variable. So the R square is here the coefficient of determination of the regression equation in step one with uh, the variable with the concern variable on the left hand side and all other predictor variable on the uh, right hand side. So let us first uh, estimate our, our model. The first step is to uh, go in quick estimate equation. Uh, we express uh, the uh, GDP per capita as dependent variable. GDP per capita in current US dollar. Now the constant we have, uh, for example, uh, general government final consumption as first variable. We have um, Openness index. We have uh, inflation. We 
are inflation, uh, consumer price index. We have uh, population, the total population of the country. We have the total population. We have uh, domestic credit provided by financial institution in our model. We have school enrollment and so on. So we uh, keep uh, we'll keep these uh, different uh, variable. I will add uh, once more uh, variable on bank uh, bank capital uh, asset ratio. You also have. For example, bank uh, reserve uh, bank assets. We have uh, asset, uh, we have uh, another bank uh, indicator. We have uh, non-performing uh, loan provided by financial institution. So we click on OK, and we have. Uh, First of all, to save our equation by clicking on name. So we keep the name equation 01 and then we click on OK. You can see that our equation is in our work file right now. So uh, to compute the variance inflation factor, we need to type the common. Uh, first of all, the name of our equation EQ01 dot uh, var e varying variance which mean variance inflation so we type the name of our equation following by dots following by uh, the command varying variance inflation factor then we click on enter so you see that uh, the variance inflation factor has been has been computed. So uh, the variable that have the very higher uh, variance inflation factor is uh, the population, the total population, which is the, the variable that uh, have uh, that cause the most higher uh, variance inflation uh, factor. So we will remove uh, the total population first of all in our equation. <laughs> So we go on our equation, we remove, uh, we select the variable total population and we delete it. And then we click on OK and we run uh, uh, our variable inflation factor uh, here. So uh, for now, so uh, we use the term criteria that uh, suggests that when the uh, variance inflation factor is uh, more than 10, it means that uh, the multicollinearity is higher. So the cutoff commonly used is 5. So we'll uh, move a variable when the variance inflation factor is uh, more than 5. So for now, we also we still have a domestic credit provided by financial institution, which have a uh, bank liquid reserve, which still have uh, Higher relationship, uh, higher uh, higher uh, variance inflation factor. So that is the, the target for now. Among variable to, to move, we will move bank liquid reserve to uh, asset ratio. So we select the variable uh, bank liquid reserve to asset ratio, and we delete it. And then we click on OK and our equation is uh, adjusted uh, with, without the uh, variable we remove and then we also uh, run our common variance inflation factor so for now all our variance inflation factor are less than five so according to the to, uh, term criteria term criteria are uh, we should keep uh, all our herbal in our model.
general government uh, final consumption, openness, economic openness, uh, inflation, com uh, domestic credit provided by financial institution, we will keep uh, school enrollment, bank capital to asset ratio, and we also keep bank non-performing loan. So uh, that's it for this tutorial, and we have uh, we hope you uh, help you uh, very well understand the variance inflation factor, and we will see you uh, a little bit sooner in the other uh, tutorial video.